Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mandy and I am going to be doing a video today on my meal planning for next week. I already have it decorated the way you know I was feeling when I started to decorate this page. It's on the dashboard layout of the Homebody Seasonal Planner, Classic Happy Planner, and I am a little nervous because I don't have things ready to go. But what I'm going to do is do what I would normally do. Um, I mean, like I have no clue of what, if is this, is this gonna be, give me any issues, stuff like that. Um, but I don't do it this way every single week, but I am trying to be better about getting on a routine like this. So, um, if you want to follow along with me in meal planning my meals for next week, stay tuned. That's what we're going to do right now. And I hope that you will like this video if you like this kind of thing and go ahead and get your like meal planning supplies and stuff and meal plan with me if you'd like. So I have been trying to log my food and make it a habit very much it's not happening consistently so i always have to figure out what i need to do to make sure that's happening well i'm thinking that if i log my food ahead of time although i know things do not stay the exact way i log i like i plan and it discourages me to do anything ahead of time sometimes i do know that it's helpful so what i'm going to do is log the meals that i know i'm most likely going to be having at least writing them down here and then i will go in and do some of my dinners Okay, so I went ahead and logged in all of my breakfast and snacks because this is really what I end up having every day for breakfast and snack, with the exception of Fridays, possibly being oatmeal. So I know that when I log my food in my fitness pal, like I know pretty much where my macros lie with these meals. And then the other thing that I usually have are um, veggies, uh, like a, I, I cut up my veggies I do bell peppers, most likely some broccoli, carrots, cucumber, and like maybe a tablespoon of hummus. And sometimes zucchini, just like I'll mix it up a little bit, but most of the time there's peppers, broccoli, carrots, th stuff like that in there. And that'll be my snack later in the day. Um, and I will either pair it with something very high protein like turkey meat, chicken meat, or um, I might even do like a built bar like a half a built bar and then the other half after dinner if I'm feeling um you know like a sweet snacky uh, uh you know feeling after dinner but I'm also trying to do my green tea after dinner which I want to write down here as a reminder as well and if I do my green tea and still have that snacky feeling then I can finish the built bar the built bar is good for the protein, but it's probably not something I have to be having after dinner. It's just been helpful that I can pick something that's higher in protein as a sweet tooth snack after dinner as opposed to something that's not high in protein at all and just, you know, more sugar or, you know, nothing at all. So what I'm going to do now, I just didn't want to fill in the snacks because I've already filled in so much. I'm going to show you how I kind of plan out my meals and try to balance them with the other things that I'm ha that I know I'm having that day. So, for example, I get stuff from every plate and we are let's see, we're in this week here. So, no. So, these are the meals that I will be getting that I will be eating this week, if that makes sense. So, sometimes I don't like actually putting in what I'm going to have for dinner right away, but I will put them in here, pay no attention to what day of the week it is. I will just put it there. Sometimes I'll put a little, you know, box or sticker or whatever, and as we eat them, I check them off. So, I want to make sure, is this the right one? Hang on. Wednesday... Yeah, so I wanna make sure that I write these down because I like having the options here. I don't want to necessarily say that that's what I'm having on Monday because something might not work out with our plans and so forth and I might not end up having it. 
but at least I have them the options written here. I don't know you guys, I typically don't end up showing these because sometimes I just feel like my handwriting is just not super easy to read or I don't know, but if you guys like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up so I know because I tend to think, why would they want to see these? <laughs> okay, so I have those three options. The other thing that I like to go in and do is go to my Beachbody um, nutrition programs. So basically like last week I chose the program to be mindset because I wanted to try out some of those recipes and it's easy for me to just like have the papers printed in there. Um, and that's what I did last week. I will show you last week's. I didn't decorate it or anything you guys. I just like wrote it in. So I would circle what I didn't get to eat when I at that time and then I would go back and eat it if I you know needed to and so forth. So that is as you can see I was writing other things down as ideas. I was writing page numbers and that's what I plan on using some of this side for are having backup plans for if I don't feel like making something or say I, I put a chicken dish out, I mean, every plate is ready to go, but say I put a chicken dish on the menu, but didn't take the chicken out. I mean, that's kind of a problem, right? When that time comes. So what I ended up doing is um, choosing some different recipes as backups that were ready to go, like turkey burgers and stuff like that. Stuff that I kind of have in the freezer that's easy to cook or thaw out or just salad stuff was another one. So, you know, we always, in summer, we're basically having sa um, some salads. So what I wanna do is, I don't wanna use up too much of this space. I'm going to put a salad here and then I'm gonna find a salad within the beach body recipes. So I know that it is, you know, and I tend to do the portion fix style stuff and I know that it's um, a good uh, combo of things for me. And then I will go and choose which dinners go well with what I had for lunch and dinner that day um, or lunch, lunches and snacks that day. So um, for example, if I have like a high fat, high carb lunch, I will probably pair it with the salad that night, depending on my workouts and stuff. So a lot of things kind of go into that. But what I want to do is also show you that in my home section to help me with less thought processes, I should say, I made a little like rotation sheet for myself. And I said, you know what, if you don't know what, what recipes to look up or what to have, especially since I, I mean, you guys, it happens all the time. I, I have every plate for three of the meals and I pretty much count on two other meals being something that my husband can cook for us because I'm tired or it's the weekend and we, you know, hang out with my mom and she happens to have food or something. Like I don't over plan. Let's just say that I do not over plan. And if we didn't eat something the week before, I will kind of roll it over into that week as one of those meals. So I really just want to at least look up one or two of the meals and we are basically in we're going into I mean I don't have to go by this calendar <laughs> but we are going into this week so it's one two three the fourth week so just to stick with it so I don't repeat anything next week I'm gonna choose these style of foods here um, so if that kind of helps you out and you guys like the rotation type thing you know hopefully you got an idea here so we haven't had, I know it's hot, but we do like soups. I like soups anyways. We are going to be having an Italian dish with this chicken sausage orzato. Um, peanut chicken stir fry is sort of more of like an Asian style dish. And then Southwest, Southwest beef tacos, fajita tacos is more like a Mexican style dish, which, it, which is not in here, but um, I can definitely probably do something with the slow cooker. I could make a soup and it's not a bad thing if I have those others or I can really look at these other things too but I know this week we are having some shrimp so I'm not sure if I'm going to do seafood um, but let's see so I might look up a soup or a slow cooker something I can maybe just put in the slow cooker uh, sandwiches kind of sound good and breakfast so I think what I'm going to do is have a salad. We're gonna do breakfast one night. 
and um, let's see if I can find something on here for a slow cooker recipe. So now the challenge is going to be, is it something my family is going to like? <laughs> right? I don't know if you guys get that. Um, I think what I might do is try to get, um, I, we have not had pork in a while. So it says tasks, but this is my grocery list. I'm going to try to get pork. Let me do barbecue pork sandwiches. That sounds really good. What am I, what am I writing? So sometimes just looking up the recipes gives me an idea and I don't necessarily use that actual recipe. I don't feel like split pea soup. I am going to go ahead and check out some of the salads. And a lot of times I'll just kind of see if there's anything that would look good for all of us to eat or me and my husband and the kids could have some soup. Buffalo chicken salad sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, the next thing I wanna make sure is that I make a note that my breakfast will be breakfast quesadillas from Beachbody. And these barbecue pork sandwiches will just be something um, pretty much that I will you know, cook from our own information, but I am going to look it up and see if they have something similar that's healthier. This one's probably a little bit more like it. All right, you guys, so that is basically what I'm going to be doing, but I do need to plan some lunches. These every plate meals are not enough to eat the next for lunches the next day. So what I'm going to do is t choose two lunches and I'm going to go back and forth um, like every other day. And then one of the meals will most likely have um, an extra so I can have it for my lunch the next day. And if not, I always have something on hand. Like I'll, I will make a sandwich or something. Like I don't feel the need to plan everything, at least not right now, but um, that's, you know, I can always go back to a recipe, like hard boil some eggs and make like an egg salad sandwich or something or pull out some tuna. But I'm going to write tuna salad burrito bowl and this will be chicken so I need to make sure it's high protein tuna salad burrito bowl and then with that I can either look up recipes and spend way more time doing this but I'm going to go with some of the things like I know I have stuff for dressing. I know I can mix like egg with it, stuff that will make the tuna. Um, but I do probably need to get some crackers because I do like crackers with my tuna salad. If not, I will use a whole wheat piece of bread. Um, but sometimes I just want that crunch. Now for burrito bowls, I have plenty of rice. I have the beans, I have the chicken. I'm going to be making salsa. I will have salad from the romaine lettuce. So I just try to think of things like that that I will need to add here. And I think I'm pretty good to go with a burrito bowl. The only thing is I might end up needing fresh avocado. So I'll make sure that gets on the list. Plus many of these, not many of these things, but avocados are usually on our, our list, but sometimes we leave them off, sometimes we don't. So. So with that, I'm pretty much good to go with lunches. And like I said, I'll just leave Friday open for whatever leftovers of meals that we have in the week. Hence why I probably, is why I probably start not tracking so much on Fridays because my breakfast changes up a little bit. If my lunch is different, I'm not sure what we're doing for dinner, stuff like that. I do not like to plan too much on um, Saturdays and Sundays, I don't at all. I'm just, I just try to be very careful. And if I don't know what I'm doing for lunch, then I just make sure that I do something that I did during the week. So I hope that this was helpful, you guys. I hope that you got out of it, maybe some motivation to kind of just see that um, having the same meals at, as, and snacks sometimes is just makes it a lot easier and less overwhelming. 
I do like to do dinners in the mail delivery. Um, it takes a lot of thought process out. However, some of them can be a little bit high in fat, so I'm watching my portions with those and just trying to pick a few other recipes kind of like with my rotation of ideas is helpful. So just getting that assistance, taking that time to sit down, um, write out the meals that you know that you're gonna have for sure that are good for you. Um, and then looking online at some kind of healthy recipes and figuring out what you actually have the ingredients already for. And if the wheat comes and you're not feeling it, at least you have some other options. I know I have a little bit of a challenge with both of not feeling what I, what I planned and then also not being completely ready for what I planned. So this has been really helpful um, to basically have things prepped over the weekend. So this last week to prep for some of my lunches, I made, um, like I cut up and uh, fried, not fried, um, on the stove top did my tempeh. And I made that with quite a few of my lunches this week that we're in currently. So next week though, tuna is like in a can and ready to go. Um, I just will need to prep my chicken. And that's actually something I meant to write down was um, that on Sunday or sometime during the weekend, I need to prep. So I'm not gonna write it there. I'm going to write it here. It's not gonna be pretty or anything, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and write that I need to prep my shredded chicken, my veggies, and let's see if there's anything else that needs to be prepped. I think we are pretty good. Um, chicken, breakfast is fine. And if we get the pork, sometimes we don't get it in our pickup and I just don't go to the store. <laughs> I, I just choose something else then. Oh, and I did, didn't did mention that one night might be um, dinner or wine with a friend. So whatever night that ends up being, I have to be very careful about my other choices throughout the day and so on. So I know it sounded like I already was gonna finish it, but now I'm finishing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up so I know. And I hope that you will consider subscribing if you haven't. I would love to see you guys um, for the next video and I hope you guys have an awesome, wonderful week. Find me on Instagram. I am at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters and let me know how you guys are doing your meal prepping. I'll see you guys for the next one and have an awesome day. Bye.